Hello friends. At the time that I'm filming this vlog, there have been a lot of tragedies in the US at least for the past week. Honestly, I mean just for the past lifetime. So I know that by the time this comes out, this may not be top of mind anymore. This may not be what people are thinking about, but I feel like the impact on people's mental health, on how we perceive ourselves in the world stays the same. The drama can last very long and I hope that y'all can give yourselves time and space to feel everything you need to feel and to process through what has been happening as well as give space to other people and be empathetic for the process that other people are going through as they're figuring out how to navigate this insane world that we live in. I think it's like, at least for me personally, really a good reminder that I just don't always know what other people are going through and that maybe the way that I treat people can help them treat other people better. Maybe that I treat people can help them just feel better about themselves. So trying to remember that in everything that we do. I decided that I like doing little restaurant review voiceovers, so I'm gonna to try to do more of those in my vlogs when I can. But Bestia, I honestly can't decide if I really like it or if I just think it's kind of mid. I think one thing that honestly turns me off from Bestia a little bit is just the fact that it's super hyped up, so it's a little hard to get a reservation, and I feel like it's a very sceney place to eat. Starting out with the cocktails, my cocktail was really good. I got the Ginger Messiah. It was their take on a Paloma, but very gingery. I really enjoyed it. As for the food, I'm gonna to try to put all the dishes that we got as I show them, but everything at Bestia is super yummy. I will say it's quite rich it's pretty heavy and it's very pricey that is the thing that i can't decide if i feel like it's all worth the price or if i'm enjoying it because the vibes are good and then i'm letting the price slip by just because i've already eaten it and it's too late to regret anything now honestly i will say one thing i do think is very worth is the branzino i love a good branzino honestly i would come for a cocktail and just to eat a fish but everything was very tasty and it was a super fun night with my roommates I decided to make a whole little day out of going to Cerritos, which is a suburb of outside of LA. One of my friends recommended a hair salon there, so I'm going to get my hair cut and dyed finally. You can see how bad these roots are. Okay, y'all, I just got probably the worst haircut I've ever gotten in my entire life. So I'm doing an Instagram soft launch, hard launch, honestly, um, to spare myself people being like, oh my gosh, you got a haircut. And I know you're like, oh wow, that's just like really short, whatever, it'll grow. Hold on. The reason why I hate this haircut, first of all, I look like a, <laughs> I look like Dorothy <laughs> And then it's longer in the back than in the front. Like, look at that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, honestly, I was laughing the last like five minutes that I'm crying. I literally can't look at myself or I'll start laughing again. But <laughs> basically, it was too short. They messed up so badly that they're like, it's too short. We can't even even it out because like we'll have to like shave your neck. Um, <laughs> so if you see me in person and are thinking of being like, oh my gosh, you got a haircut. It looks so good. Just don't even bother. It's okay. I know. <laughs> we all know. Here at lunch with Anne. Hello. Okay. 
Okay, so I just got home. Paula, my roommate's here. We're gonna, I'm gonna show her the full haircut. Okay, <laughs> so. So it's like short. Thanks, <laughs> girl. They could have so. toned it a little. every Asian boy that used to sit in front of me in class. <laughs> Have you Wait, shown what? the camera the back? <laughs> Probably not. Picture this, you're in fourth grade English class. <laughs> boy in front of you refuses to get his hair cut. I'm playing with Pokemon cards instead of paying attention. <laughs> That's oh my literally God. me. Even like, it's so uneven. Like, right. Do you see this? <laughs> Wait, Jing Jing. What are we working with? Reveal time, you're, you're on camera. So short at the back. Oh. Okay, it's not <laughs> as bad in person. Wait, really? <laughs> no, it's definitely <laughs> worse on Instagram. There's also like one long strand in the back they just didn't cut. It doesn't look that bad from the front. Like I'm looking at shit like, oh, like a short cut, like cute. But from the back, I can't. It's a silhouette. It's it very round. No, I like the, the hair in the front is very 90s. Yeah. yeah. This is like kind of a moment. It's giving like 90s K-pop boy band. <laughs> We're, this is like not over, Joel. This is like, this is, this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity. <laughs> You're gonna be like, I know. Oh my God, that was my look. We're gonna buy you some black avant-garde clothing. Yes. You're gonna be like, like some big pants. Uh-huh. Wait, I'm, like I'm just describing it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, it's been a little bit since I've had this haircut and I did go out in public with this hair and honestly, it wasn't that bad. I feel like I was making a really big deal out of it and people were A, really nice and people complimented it of all things. I obviously still don't feel great about how I look, but I felt like it was a very good learning opportunity where I have to be challenged with not liking how I look for a little bit, but still liking myself and being confident in who I am. And it also revealed how much, I guess, I rely on my physical appearance for my first impressions that I want people to think a certain thing about me based off of how I look. It was very timely. The sermon at church was all about identity and like knowing who you are in God and understanding where your identity comes from. It was a very good reminder for me that I don't want my understanding of myself, I don't want my self-confidence to rely so much on how I look. One of the verses that our pastor shared with the sermon was Romans 12 2. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. I feel like this is like an iconic verse, but in the context of at least how I'm feeling right now, for me, conforming to the mindset or the pattern of this world is by being incredibly insecure based off of how I look. The idea of having a transformed and elevated mind that is not bothered by how people think I look, that sounds pretty good. Oh yeah, baby! I'm so excited! Okay, oh wait, you have a minute, you have a minute. You have a BTS blanket. They look so good! Okay, I don't know how I feel about Jones' hair. I'm not gonna lie. He's back to the emo boy face. I, know, I, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> this is my first time here with this thing. Who is that? Is that Jin? No, who is that? Jump Jungkook? Oh yeah. Dude, the hair! No! no! Is it blurry? I don't know! Should we make it a... Should we make it a HD? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry! <laughs> it's worth it for the HD. Is this gonna be all in English? No, they were already singing Korean. Oh, okay. This random truck. America, America Core. Okay, loving the fit. He kind of looks like a school veteran Hogwarts student. Okay. Oh my god, this is gonna be... This is in my field. Yeah. This is definitely like emo. Yeah. Like, oh. Which one is J Hope? I'll show you. Okay. Oh my gosh, Jin! I kind of like this long hair look. Yeah. Why is he on a truck though? Sponsored. Sponsored by like four hundred. We never walk alone. Uh, I think they're all references to old like the carousel and then yeah. the truck all and the rose. Uh huh. Oh. He looks so good. Oh, like, he's so hot. 
the train! That's Jay Hope, that's Jay Hope. He's like the best dancer. Oh. Or one of the best dancers. Hippie you in July. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I forgot you're going. That's Chiman, who I have a poster of in my bedroom. <laughs> that's Arms out from Dynamite. Did he do all denim? Oh! I think they, I don't know. I don't know. I, we need to rewatch. We need to rewatch all the old music. These videos. are like Marvel level conspiracy uh -huh. theories. Yeah. Like, which universe are we in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul is like, who are these men? And I'm just like, ah. I hope this isn't like a breakup album. They're like, okay, Jim's going to the military. Oh, bye. No way. Honestly, that's what it, like, that's what, like. that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. It feels like a breakup back. album. I feel like they have to release like another like I actual like album, album. album. Yeah, with the new but, songs. Like, I think they're still waiting on like Korean legislation to be like, can Jin not go to the military? Oh my you know? gosh. It's like it's still insane. up in the air. It's like controversial. Okay, so now we need to watch it because that was laggy. I am still processing listening to all of Proof. Oh my gosh, so emotional. Guys, I feel like I just got broken up with in a very like, it's not you, it's me. You know, our timing just didn't work out. I will always look back on these fun memories, but I have to go now type of breakup. <laughs> Are they giving us their last album and then Jen's going to the military and they're entering chapter two of BTS, which is solo stuff? <laughs> At the same time, I'm like, they have been working, living together for the past literally over 10 years. They need to learn how to be their own people and they need to have a normal, life somewhat so i'm happy for them to be able to like strike out on their own in a different way You know when you think you're gonna have all this free time and you're like, great, I'm gonna get this done, I'm gonna get this done, I'm gonna be so ahead of the game, but now that it's like 3 p.m. on a Friday, I don't want to do any of the things I said I was gonna do. So it appears me and the homies are going to have a little bit of a night tonight, which is hilarious because I never go out ever. I have not gone out once, like really staying up past midnight at a bar or club in LA since moving here. Yeah, I am very much a morning person. I normally start getting sleepy around like 10 10 30 p.m. But a friend visiting from out of town, so that's incentive to not fall asleep immediately after dinner. What do people wear going out here? Oh my gosh. I... Okay. Did it. And I'm wearing a going outfit, kind of. <laughs> Could be zero. Oh, Paul looking so good for a little dinner date. Gorgeous. You look amazing. Cheers, Paula. We are out having a night. Girls night out. This company called Amazing Co. does these little picnics, these little progressive scavenger hunt-like experiences. I'm taking one of my friends, Rona, on this little picnic experience with me, and we haven't seen each other in literal years since pre-COVID, so I'm so excited to see her finally catch up and get to know a different neighborhood in LA a little bit.
Do you want to say hi? Yeah. It's Rona back together after literally two and a half, three years, yeah. right? March 2020, a rare day was Wait, when we hung bad. out. Yeah. Yes. Location, we got our baguette, some cookies, and some hummus. Well, you said giant cookies. <laughs> this looks real. This is like a meal already. <laughs> Rona Cam. The Rona Cam. Oh, we have the word. Oh my god. Than could fit in the basket. A little salad, fruit salad, some charcuterie. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy we get to be here after so long. Thank you. We're out with the roommates. We're going to Thackeray. Bakari? Bakari. Bakari. I guess we're in Silver Lake. What is going on? They were never All I did today was eat, edit, and eat. So <laughs> what else are you to do that's, that's the weekend. Everyone's looking so good. <laughs> oh yeah, the shoes. I'm wearing the shoes so that I bought in my Hawaii vlog. Hee hee hee. Okay. I'm just gonna call this restaurant Bakery because I don't want to call it Bakari, but there are two locations in LA. I think the Silver Lake one's a little bigger. It's a really nice vibe outside and the drinks were really yummy. I think I got a mango thing with some black pepper on it. Can't remember exactly, but it was really good. Their menu is crazy extensive, so I'm sure you'll find something that you want if you're there with a group of friends. It's all small plate style, so I like that you get to try a lot of different things. And I didn't think the prices were super unreasonable. I think two standouts were the chicken sliders and honestly, I loved the kale salad. But anyways, that's all for this vlog. I know it was a lot of food. Hope you all enjoyed. Love you, Deesa loves you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.